Basically, what we were able to demonstrate in this very large trial, it was again a huge international effort, uh, was in a real, real world study. I mean, this was basically pomalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone compared to pomdex, but very importantly, unlike the Acaria trial, in a much earlier population. And again, we were targeting the lenalidomide refractory population, so those patients in whom lenalidomide had failed them. And when we looked into these uh, specific groups, we saw that in len refractory patients, after one line of prior therapy, we were able to demonstrate that they enjoyed progression-free survivals in excess of 18 months, which is really very encouraging. Overall, it was around 20 months, and for this particular group, it was around 17 to 18 months to be precise. But my point simply is that that simple three-drug platform outperformed the control group, which was bortezomib and dexamethasone, and gained really exciting PFS data um, that suggests that this is a very viable platform going forward. And Thomas, the advantage of it is that pomalidomide and dexamethasone obviously is, is, are, are key, but the bortezomib is, of course, a generic proteasome inhibitor now in many countries, and that allows a very cost-effective platform to be built. So our co conclusion in the paper was that this is an important real-world platform from which we can add stuff. So, for example, if we wanted to add to this daratumumab, map, for example, that would be a great platform. And in fact, to that end, we're doing a trial just looking at exactly that.